I am Steve McDonough. I am from Batesville, Indiana. Uh, this we call this project Mtron. It is a collaborative display, so I came up with the idea a couple years ago to do a space theme layout, but I wanted a layout where I thought everybody would be excited, excited about and would everybody would participate in our local club. We picked Mtron because it's loved by all of us guys who had it when we were young. Um, I've got quite a bit of success. I think we could actually expand it considerably farther. It's catching on a little bit, so we keep making it build bigger and changing each time. Uh, I'll show you what's going on okay. here. We currently have a launching ramp to uh, launch the ships into our teleportation ring. Um, we have some radio towers. This guy's idea for what is theme was that it, the tower actually collapses down into the tower into the base, and that the sides cover it up. Um, it is new for this show, brand new. We have our mining train here to carry the mined ore to various locations of it. It obviously gets processed into these glowing cylinders here. Um, moving down, we have the wonderful monorail. Can't say enough good things about monorail. Uh, always a popular favorite for everyone who sees it. We have our force field generator, also very popular. People love the movement of the things. The black light looks great, glowing with the uh, the elements. You'll notice there's some non-Mtron here. This is kind of our checkpoints to get into our mining facility. Um, we have the monorail terminal over here. They are in charge of maintaining and running the monorail. The other tall tower here is a drone defense system. So when enemies attack, that is deploys our robotic drones. We are currently being attacked by Blacktron. <laughs> Nefarious villains that they are. Um, I don't know that I don't think the Blacktron's gonna have too much trouble because we don't have anybody stopping them. So this so may send out the drones. Yeah, exactly. They should be lifting off and taking over. Here we have a mining vehicle, uh, ore carrier. What's kind of cool about this one is it uses mostly Technic pieces for its construction. And I believe that he does have it to where it works. I'm not positive, but this, this does, yeah, he does have it to where it lifts. Um, I'm actually not sure what the function of this building is, but we have one of the other uh, Lego models taken off from it. I cannot remember the names of them anymore. This is our power station. It's very cool. If we could film inside, he's got cool lights and stuff going on in here. Some interesting building techniques. One of my favorite buildings on the layout. Um, this one is master control. This is where the head honchos sit. They are in control of the whole base. They use their giant satellites and antennas to stay in contact with uh, the entire Mtron force. This vehicle right here, I like because it is not one of our normal contributors to our layout. At Brick World Chicago, I held a contest with just my random scrap pieces that I had. A contest to build Mtron, and this is one of the entrants. I, I wish I knew who made it, but I don't. But I, out of out of just random scraps, I thought it was cool enough to make a permanent yeah. display on my layout. So, fantastic on that. This was a building I designed for the sole purpose of building studs out. It uses a ring of click hinges all through it, so that it is not built in a traditional manner. Uh, my favorite thing to do when I build is to use old or unusual pieces and different manners. So if you look closely here, we've got old old gear pieces from a long time ago. We have smiley faces oh, because yeah. they are a unique shape. And you'll notice that it's sitting together, not not tied. Um, this here, Megacore Magnetizer, one of the greatest sets LEGO has ever created. As far as play and function, 
functionality goes, not many other sets match this one. Um, I feel lucky that a guy in my club is willing to put these out on our layout. We've got six or seven of them now for the layout. Couldn't all get them out here, but hands down, one of my favorite sets of all time. Fantastic set. I love it. Here we have some uh, storage tanks. A little bit unusual construction of them. These were from some uh, little X-Pod sets, I believe they were called. A little different use for them. Uh, here's one of the oldest sets of buildings I have here. These are getting close to 10 years old. When the moon base craze that the uh, adult fans had kind of come up with, they came out with a layout to have interconnecting corridors between the buildings. These are remnants from that time, so they're almost 10 years old. By far the oldest stuff built for this on this on this layout. Another mega core magnetizer. And my latest creation here, we have another uh, pressure act gas storage tanks. Um, once again, I like to use pieces in different ways. So of course, these are the new little Death Star pods. Yeah, very cool. Um, one of my favorite, my one of my favorite things I built here recently. I forgot about the uh, the lava pit. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to mention the lava pit. All the detail you have around that with the rocks. Yeah, that that is one of the goals that we have tried for a long time is to get more landscape. One of the flaws I think with our design here is it's too flat of a layout. It makes it nice to set it up. But for display, not just not as nice as we don't have the flowers and stuff to put out that the train and town guys do. Uh, so we came up with this pit. We got some landscape and a rock now, and uh, we thought it would be too much if we filled it with the the, the green gems. So we decided the, the creator decided on a lava theme. Uh, t tends to be pretty popular with the uh, kids who come by. Yeah, yeah, that looks great. Got some cool lights going up underneath it. So one of the goals that we've created for this is make things high, make things move, make things light up. So everything we build now, we try to incorporate that into the creations. Yeah, I think you did a great job of that. You've got all three of those aspects done really well here. So what's your future plans for? You said you might add some more. I think this is currently seven eight-foot tables. I believe we have enough stuff with the other members in our club who participates to add at least four to five more tables of stuff.